Can you feel my love? I sure can. Libra, can you feel that? It's really intense. Your person is, yeah, ashamed or something here, guys. This apology coming through. It's very goosebumpy and it's very emotional. It's so emotional. I really just um, kind of hold myself back here, but it makes me want to cry. This King of Cups over here very much. Hi Libra, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet with me, Chris. Hi Libra, welcome to your November 2021, 2021. How are we saying that these days, guys? Love reading. This is also your love tarot reading, your tarot love reading, your love oracle reading, and of course, excuse me, <laughs> I have to fix this, your love messages reading. Now, I want to tell you, Libra, uh, your person could be a Gemini or Virgo. Very, very, very strong throat chakra, okay? Um, I'm <laughs> just going to tell you that right off the bat. We are beginning our reading today, the main reading with Rider Waite Borderless Tarot, as you can see here. We will be looking at Enchanted Map Oracle cards as well, and your love messages. Channeled love messages, these are direct messages to you from your person. Channeled song messages, direct messages through song to you from your person. This is the Something to Say Song Messages deck. Now guys, a couple of things. They can be love songs. They can be just songs, not love songs. It's the message being sent. Could be that your song comes down, an artist, a particular word or title. And if you ever feel like you are sending the messages to your person, you go with that. You're here for a reason. This is a general reading, guys. So take what resonates and throw away the rest. But with that said, your messages are going to be different from somebody else's messages. And when you get here is when you're meant to be here. Now, this is November, as I said, 2021, Libra. However, they are timeless. So if you're coming here months later, a year later, <laughs> whatever it is, and you feel like you're sending a particular message to your person here, or things are coming through for you really strongly in the tarot deck, or something really struck a nerve with the Enchanted Map Oracle, excuse me, Oracle cards. I'm really tongue-tied, I have to tell you. The energy is feeling very, um, like I have to move here. It's interesting. <laughs> Just going to leave it at that. But there's a lot of Gemini Virgo energy here already. Um, guys, we're also going to be looking at, as always, at the end of your reading, the Tarot Closet channeled love messages, and we will pull some totems. Let's get started here. Thank you, spirit guides and angels, ancestors. Okay, guys. These are yours. It doesn't always happen, but there we go. The lover's card, Gemini. <laughs> There's a confirmation. Your person uh, could be a Gemini, guys. Capricorn, Pisces here. Okay, gosh, uh, here we are. Let's see. King of Cups. I don't know if I can move this here so you can see all right. Some more Pisces energy here, you guys. Aquarius. Okay, look, before I finish here, I'm getting your reading down. I want to get some overall energy for you. So let me move this. Okay. No peeking. <laughs> you can take a look at those cards now, guys, before we get to your overall energy. This is your person's. I do not look, of course. Okay, you will get yours. Now, sometimes the overall energy from the two of you can be reversed. That has happened before. I've been known to physically move them. This is you, this is them. Sometimes not, okay? Other times it can be that the energies are combined and they're part of the whole feeling of the reading. It really is different for every reading, guys. 
No reading is ever the same, as you know. Remember to take what resonates and throw away the rest. And also, I do want to say to you before we get going here, please remember that this is not a prediction, Libra. And cross watchers, hello. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to say to you. You might be here cross watching for a Libra. Find that you're resonating with the reading yourself. If that happens, you go with that, okay? But as I said, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, throw away the rest. And remember, this is not a prediction. As I was saying before, I interrupted myself. Your outcome is your own Libra and cross watchers, okay? You remember to use your free will here, very important. Let's get started, all right. Libra, look at your persons. This really does not surprise me. I really hope this is clear, guys. I have kind of have some vision problems, so some of the readings at times, cards get a little blurry because I can't really tell, even looking at the screen here. Uh, but this is shining through pretty strong, guys. Ten of Cups here. Well, we know the Ten of Cups is right away more Pisces energy. Your person is fantasizing about this foundation that was interrupted and having it all. Look, 10 cups, so emotional. The hope with the rainbows, guys, really hoping for this, for this. This is their energy here. Now, remember this family that we see here. Family is going to be what it is for each person, okay? Can be animals okay what is family to you libra that's the first thing i want to say the second thing i want to say is this is a 10 you guys the end of a cycle completion and renewal just what your person is dreaming about here they're so emotional for you there's a lot of love here and they're dreaming of the future very much so very very much look there's the house now the two of you had a I want to say kind of an instant attraction. It's very opposites, but um, close here. Now, this is connections been going on for a long time, I want to say to you. It's very, very emotional. Again, a lot of love here. That house is symbolizing this feeling of when you are very connected to someone, you feel when you've met them, you feel like I've met my person, I feel at home. That is what is going on here. Can it be that there was an interruption in an, in an actual home, a physical home? Yes, of course. Um, there's a home there. There is a family. A lot of things happen in a home. We live there. We, we are laughing there and learning there and sometimes dying there. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on in a house, not to get <laughs> in a certain direction, but you know what I'm saying. The point is, is it is a physical house. We do see that. So that can have to do with this connection in some way for you. That's not going to be for everyone, but it's here. But the main thing here is the love and the connection between you guys and what they're imagining. The fact that they feel so at home with you and you feel so at home with them here. Look at that. You have the lover's card here. There's some Gemini energy as well. Look, Capricorn, the devil card here, tethered together. The moon card. My gosh, you guys, somebody's hiding their feelings. Is that your person? Look at that. Look at that emotional energy, a lot of it, but look what is blocking it. There is a self-defense here going on. Somebody has this stopped this emotional energy from flowing. It's still there. It has not gone away. It's just being blocked at the moment. Okay, we're going to look at that a little more later, but here you go. This is your overall energy card, Page of Wands, Libra. Okay, I want to say to you... Um, yeah, <laughs> you haven't let go of your person either. And you're hoping that they're going to do more than just thinking about coming because that's what I feel like is happening here. And it's one of those moments, you guys, that I'm feeling very strongly for you that these energies are combined for the reading. I think you're both dreaming about this, what happened, what you had, what you want. And I do feel like your person has not let you go, but isn't quite sure what to do. Can be both of you, can be vice versa, but there's an energy here. Gosh, Libra, your love. Very strong love here. 
This is the lover's card, you guys. As I said, Gemini. This is a six. What is a six? Well, a six is harmony and healing um, between two people. Excuse me, guys. I don't know what happened with the camera already. Look at that. You guys, you're tethered together here. <laughs> this is the lover's card. Gemini energy, Capricorn energy, very much tethered together here. And I want to say to you, some things were said, some decisions that were made were not really the right decisions or decisions that got in the way of this connection. When you see the sun here on the lover's card, for me, when I see the sun here, it's very much like trying to get that happy outcome, the sun card. It'd be really interesting to see if the sun card is wanting to come down for you today, Libra. You guys really love each other, but I have to tell you there's this feeling of obstacles here, the clouds. We've talked about this in readings before, Libra, very, very much with your person here. Look, they're a little lifted right now. What is going on in this connection that would allow this 10 of cups, this renewal here, this 10, the end of the cycle to renew again and have a new start here. Somebody's thinking about it here with the page of wands. Is that you? This was your overall energy. I say was because I feel very much, it might even be a little reversed, but it feels more like it's a combined energy for the reading, you guys. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of emotion here. I do think that maybe <laughs> I want to say to you, now look, um, you guys have an intense connection, Libra, very, very much. Look at where, where, excuse me, the devil card is placed. This is the second placement. This is your partnership, okay? An imbalance here. Somebody might have been chasing somebody a little bit harder. Could be that it's still going on. And look here. We will continue on with the reading, guys, but this is really demanding my attention. So I just go where I'm guided, and that's how it is today. Look, that moon card. What is that? That's emotional energy. Well, we know that you're emotional for each other. We know that it's not dried up. Just between you here, your person is hiding their feelings. They're still being a little self-defensive too, a little bit afraid, you guys. Now the moon card, this is the moon and the sun here. You see this, trusting yourself, trusting your intuition. And what is it that you need to look at in this connection? That's the other thing about the crayfish here, guys. It's sort of like taking it out and looking at something, the subconscious, something you might not want to look at here. The devil card could be some clues for some of you. It could be that something's going on in the way of overindulgence, but that's not going to be for everybody. Here's the thing with the moon card that I'm feeling for you now. You're both here. Somebody's afraid. Somebody's a little self-defensive. Somebody's hiding their feelings here. The moon will eventually, the sun will eventually come up. What is the sun here we see in the lover's card? Well, it's a possible joyous outcome. It's a new start. But as with the sun card, um, in particular in this deck, there is a block. There's something blocking this connection, you guys. What is it? Is it more than one thing? Is it one particular obstacle? There's an obstacle between you. In your person here, there's definitely some, some ego and pride going on, but they're holding back. They're holding back and they're hiding their feelings. Can this be you, Libra? Maybe, but I feel like this is your person here. Guys, whoops, excuse me. Aquarius, Pisces, energy here. Look at that. Your person, I feel very much that this is your person here holding on to that cup. Gosh, I need to get these cards down because we need to see what's going on here. Look at that tumultuous energy, you guys. Look at all that emotional energy, what went on between you. There's a fish out of water here. For some of you, this has to do with location, long distance, a connection where you weren't maybe comfortable where you were, maybe even something to do with the house we see in the Ten of Cups. Could include other people. Be interesting to see if we get the Hierophant card because I feel for some of you this has to do with differences, maybe cultural or religious, other people, something here, that, that block. But gosh, 
You guys, you're tethered here, all right? We see the love, we see the emotional energy, we see your person, and um, some of you, Libra, fantasizing about how things were and even a whole new start, a 10, the 10 of cups, you guys. Your person here holding it, look, wearing this green coat, which is knowing what this connection is. That is also the heart chakra, wearing their crown, close the crown chakra, being close to the divine, knowing what this connection is here. Sitting here on their throne, though, not quite looking. There is this pride and ego going on here, I have to tell you. Yet in the page energy, we see that your person, you guys haven't let each other go. But I feel like you're at a, we would say an impasse, sort of like, you guys aren't sure what you're supposed to do now. That's what I want to say. There's something maybe blocking you. And I do feel like for some of you, that is distance, some kind of obstacles. And we're seeing that again. And look, there's the ship, you guys, the direction. Where is the ship going? Is it, is it leaving? Has that ship sailed? Is the ship going to be coming back here? The tide, is the tide or the waves going to push it in? Is there a helm? Is somebody here steering that? Or are they going with the flow? What is going on here, you guys? Uh, two, two very different things here. I do feel like some of you are feeling like you're in this ship here and you're not really sure what to do. It's, it's wobbly, it's really hard to steer it. If you have a helm, if you have a steering wheel, a ship can tell us that there needs to be some sort of direction, you guys, and also some, some thought here about it. Somebody's in very deep thought. I feel like it's it's both of you, to be honest, um, but your person especially here. We can see that. Okay, um, let's keep going. We have a few more to get down. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you tell us what is going on with Libra here? Let's just take stuff down. Libra, yeah, Libra, your person could definitely be a Gemini. I just need to tell you. The Moon card, the Lover's card, the Two of Cups, all in Gemini's reading. Look at this. Guys, your person, <laughs> who is that? Is that your person or is that you? Who's stepping back a little or who stepped back? Who's taking more? Was Were you giving more, Libra? Was your person giving more? I think you might have been giving more. And look, you're ready to talk here. You know what this connection is. Twin Flame Soulmate Energy, you guys, very, very strong. Now, this is Cancer and Energy, I want to tell you. But for me, the Two of Cups, there is also a very strong Leo Energy. You see that here, this courage who is trying? And look at this. We have the solar plexus chakra also coming through on the tights, coming through on the legs, one step back. They have a saying in Ireland, you vote with your feet, sort of you make your decision by what you do here. This person is voting with their feet backwards and their confidence here, it looks like it's coming and might be putting that step forward. But they're definitely taking more here. Somebody's taking more or was taking more. Somebody's trying to get some courage here to take a step forward. Or could that be you, Libra? This can be vice versa, but I feel this is you, Libra. Here with this blue uh, coat here, excuse me. Look, the throat chakra has been coming through very, very strong for your reading already. Does not mean that it's just your person and that it's a Gemini and they're holding back. I do feel that for some of you, but it's the energy. It's this feeling that you really want to talk here. Look at that. You're wearing a Laurel Victory wreath. Your person has... I'm also wearing sort of a um, a crown here, um, but reaching out, you're looking at them saying, yeah, okay, well, I see what you're doing here. We need to talk if we're gonna, if this is going to be something, excuse me, that we continue, look. The Ten of Cups here, it could be that your person has already reached out, Libra. Could be that you may have reached out here. I feel like it might have been you or your person is trying to get the confidence now to take the first step. Look, because it is back here. And there's that house, you guys. There's the house there. There's the house here, this joyous outcome with the Ten of Cups. Yet with the Two of Cups, it's here, a little bit further back, okay? 
your person is dreaming about this, you guys, but there's going to have to be something. Uh, it's going to need to be balanced. There's an imbalance here. The, the give and take is going to need to be equal here, not just taking more. Very, very much a balance. Somebody taking the first step, if they haven't, if you haven't already, if your person hasn't already. The love here is very clear. Look at you guys. And here's the two. There's a decision on the table. What is that decision? What do you need to look at here? Why do you need to trust your intuition? What's going on? Okay. Hiding these feelings here. Definitely your person is hiding their feelings. Be interesting to see if we see the emperor card, you guys. But wow, a lot of emotional energy, Libra. So much emotional energy here. A little bit of fear too for maybe something that's happened. It could be coming through here with the devil energy, the devil card energy, excuse me here. Uh, but definitely some kind of obstacle or block for you guys. Thank you, spirit guides and angels, ancestors. Can you tell us? Yes, you can. All right, look, you guys, the Knight of Swords, I want to tell you right off, Aries, Gemini, Capricorn, Aquarius, look. Your person wants to rush in. Have they yet already? I don't know. It's going to be different. But look, this conflicting energy is still here. This obstacle, this stuff that maybe took you apart. But it's some of it is gone. But there's still a little bit left here. Very sharp clouds. Possibly having something they want to say that maybe you don't want to hear. Look, they're pretty self-defensive here. They're holding on to this harness here which tells us that they're wearing armor which tells us that more twin flame soulmate energy guys coming through strong also a lot of triggering and mirroring between the two of you but look at this horse it's almost spooked <laughs> okay now horse can represent feeling kind of powerful and free and they're moving also very emotional very very passionate and look at you guys it's coming right down below the devil card. This really intense energy between you very much. And I want to say here, uh, <laughs> can be that somebody was obsessed. I don't know is, is the right word, but you guys are tethered together here. Okay. I think there's a little bit of equal in that when you were together, your connection feels very... Uh, very fiery, okay, um, which can sometimes make an ending that's fiery. But look here, your person here with the Ten of Cups, this love, this emotional energy, imagining what was interrupted, imagining what they still want. I also see the Ten of Pentacles being flashed before me, guys. You're not seeing that, but I am seeing that. Um, that was really strong in Gemini's reading. Um, also, your person is not letting you go here. Your person is wanting to come and kind of out of the blue. We have to see what is this card here? Look, just sitting here waiting for you. We're going to take a look at that as well. <laughs> yeah, it's about to say trying to get the strength here as we see with the two of cups. And look, there it is. More twin flame soulmate energy. Your person could be a Leo. And here's the thing. Look, gosh, you guys. Um, what's going on? Who is not talking here? Is this your person? Now, they could be a Leo, but it also can be the energy, you guys. Wanting to get this person to talk here um, very, very much. And they might be wanting to, but, you know, <laughs> this horse is looking like it's going too fast almost. Um, interesting, you guys. Very, very interesting. Right down below the devil card. So there might be something going on in this connection that needs way more thought that needs to be looked at here with this crustacean here excuse me um in the moon card i'm making a mess you guys sorry about that <laughs> that's just how it goes something here needing to be looked at and waiting for the sun the sun to come up the moon okay because this the sun and the moon need each other but we see here somebody's trusting their intuition somebody not so much somebody's a little bit afraid here and that's a confirmation here with the strength card to talk um very interesting we see somebody stepping back here taking more but wanting to come uh, here with the Knight of Swords and fast, uh, very fast, you guys. The other thing I want to say to you about the Strength card is do not forget what's coming down. Also here is this really strong need for you, Libra, to take care of yourself, love yourself, respect yourself here. This connection, something that happened here in this connection has kind of 
uh, I want to say you took a hit, you know, your um, self-esteem, how you feel about yourself, how you, does your person feel about you? I hear you asking um, here and really wanting your person to talk. Yeah. Um, gosh, you guys, I do feel like your person might have been a little bit careless with the connection, careless with your heart here. Now they're a little bit afraid. Um, there's still a lot of emotional energy between you. And look, when I say afraid, and we talked about the King of Cups here, and look how interesting. Um, this happened also, I want to say, who did this happen with? Was this um, Cancer? Gosh, I don't remember. I'm going to have to look. Make sure you um, go cross-watch your sign, you guys. There are, um, excuse me, videos for everybody. Um, cross-watch your person, maybe your chart as well. Uh, very strong here. Look, the King of Cups is hiding. It's hiding their face here. Look, is there something they need to be ashamed of or something they feel guilty about? That's coming through. They're wanting to apologize, you guys. We know they're hiding their feelings. That's a confirmation there. Gosh. Okay, we're going to get one more. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Okay, we have a couple of things happening here, guys. Um, I'm just going to pull this over for you. Look. There's the star card, and also I kind of made a mess of the deck here. Those are not yours. These are yours. Okay, look. The Ten of Wands. I want to say to you, I feel like, Libra, you've been carrying a lot of this load here. Ten Wands. Ten. That's the, I'm going to show you this in a minute. That is the energy of love. That's a lot of love. That's ten, you guys. But that's also that ten again. End of a cycle, completion renewal a new start for you guys but gosh it's gonna have to be balanced it's not balanced some honesty some things are going to need to be said here your person's going to need to come clean here hiding something hiding their feelings look are they waking up is this you i feel like it's your person here um emotional but as we see with the moon card i'm going to show you this here i'm going to turn it over look um guys I have to say, I thought maybe we would get um, an Ace of Wands or an Ace of Cups, and there you go. Ace of Wands, holding on to that love, you guys. Look, i got to show you this. There's so much I want to say to you, Libra. Excuse me here. <laughs> if I can get a good grip of these cards. Okay, look at that. Ace of Wands, holding on to the love. Look at the growth coming off of that wand. They're wanting the new start. We see that here. We see it very much with their overall energy with the Ten of Cups, you guys. Um, coming out of nowhere, we also see that quite fast with the Knight of Swords here. Just this sort of pew. And very interesting and very apropos of your reading as I've been feeling this entire reading like I'm tongue-tied, like I can't keep up. You might have noticed my speech. I've gotten talking really fast, faster than usual. It feels uh, rushed. It feels like some things need to be looked at here. Your person is hiding their feelings. We see it again with the star card, you guys. Look, kind of being surfacey. They have, they're emotional, but look, they weren't careful with this connection. They're dumping some of it out. They're trying to hide things here. They're literally hiding here with the King of Cups, hiding their face here, this position, this all this emotional energy, something that they've done or said, something that happened here. They're in it, but they're keeping their foot here on the surface, you guys. Look, the ripple effects of this emotional energy. They know when you guys talk, when you guys have this conversation that really needs to be had here, that there are going to be some, some yeah, I don't know, consequences is the wrong word, but they're just going to need to own up to stuff and make some apologies here. And we see that they're hiding, okay? They're hiding their feelings. They're a little bit afraid here. They're blocking their feelings here with the crayfish. We talked about it. And here they have their foot there. It's in the emotional energy, but it's kind of up here. Libra, is this you? Are you this bird here rising above, making your heart lighter here, knowing what it is you need to do? Maybe you don't. We see here with the two of cups, a decision needs to be made. We see you've been carrying a lot of the load. We also see in the two of cups, excuse me, we also see your person stepping back here. Whether it's the past energy or now, afraid to step forward, trying to get the... Hi guys, the camera just died. But very much kind of wasteful look. Like 
It's all there, and, and it's causing all these little ripple effects here too. Look, one, two, three, four, five little streams here. Five guys. Conflict, instability, change. They're wanting to change that, okay? There's so much emotional energy here. A lot of emotions involved, I want to say to you, Libra, very much. Now, also with the Ace of Wands, okay, this is wanting to come down here right on the Strength card too. I feel like some of you... Um, are this bird here ascending. For those of you on a twin flame journey, that is not for everyone, okay? If it's not for you, throw it away. Don't worry about it, truly. But look, there are seven stars and one making eight. Seven, that is looking back, kind of reflecting, assessing where you are now, getting a little bit of control here. Then there is that one big, bright, clear star, these new beginnings, this potential here. We do have Aquarius energy also, guys, coming through again. Having some hope here. I think that's also your person look. We see with the rainbow, they're hoping for that Ten of Cups, you guys, for that happy outcome together, for something new, and very much new, a new start. You guys have a lot of things to work out, but there's a lot of tens here on the table, a renewal here, the completion of a cycle that you guys have been in. But back to the star card, this feeling of hope, needing some clarity here, or having got some clarity here. I feel like, look, it's coming down below the King of Cups. For some of you, this is your person, kind of waking up, guys, very much. And um, also it is telling us what we already see here, that they're hiding things. There's a ripple effect here. Look at all this emotion. My gosh, creating these little streams too, guys, that carry a lot of things. There's a lot of different things going on emotionally between the two of you that might even kind of added on, I want to say here, pouring this out and creating these little streams the longer you're separated. Okay, gosh, you guys, um, your reading is really beautiful. Intense, though. <laughs> Very fast moving. So fast moving. We're going to get an Enchanted Map Oracle card. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Angels, Ancestors, what do you want to put down here? Well, there's a couple here, guys. We're going to look at those, okay? For Libra today. All right, look. Wishes, guys, intention, 22. All right, two and two. We could look at that and say, that's your partnership. That's both of you. What is your intent? You both are wishing. Uh, this is what I want to say. Now, this comes to a four in numerology, guys, manifesting. Somebody's manifesting the other here. Can be that you're both manifesting each other. We talked about that. Excuse me. I'm knocking everything <laughs> over here. Let me see. Hold on a sec, guys. Excuse me if I can get this. Okay. All right. <laughs> so excuse me a little bit, making little messes here. I feel like, as we talked about very early on, that for many of you, this is the overall energy. It's not even just your person. You guys are really um, thinking about each other, the future that got interrupted here. Very, very much. Both of you know, look, there's the owl. Look, there's the dandelion being held in the mouth, this wish here. Um, some of you have already made the wish. Look, you see them coming down from this knowing egg on this pedestal here. We see the tumultuous uh, Rockies, Alps, whatever you want to call them, the mountains. But we also see it's very lasting. This connection has been going on for a very long time. And here's the thing that I'm feeling, guys, this manifesting foundations, a stronger foundation, a new foundation, stability. I feel like it's both of you, okay? It's not going to be for everyone, but for many of you. Either way, this is a four, but we also can't unsee that there's two and two here. And very much that I feel this Ten of Cups is is a combined energy for many of you, just thinking about what had happened, what got interrupted, what you want, what you could have had here, these wishes, biggest wishes, okay? You are your, I'm gonna be really interested to see here if we get my biggest wish, because I feel like that's coming through very strong intentions. What are their intentions? What are you hoping for? What do you guys wanna to have together? There's gonna to need to be some communication here and some rebalancing Big time, big, big, big time is what I want to say here. Okay, I'm going to put this down. We have another one to look at. 
gentle gardener. Guys, <laughs> divinely guided connection. Look, there it is again, your partnership. Yeah, definitely twin flame soulmate energy for those of you on the twin flame journey. If you're not, let it go. It's not the point here. A very strong spiritual connection, Libra. Look, this Aquarius energy coming through. There's that star. Look, that star card, that star right there. This is your partnership, you guys. Your person is waking up. I think you already are here. You are the bird here, but that can be vice versa for some of you. Look, here is this snail. Um, here's the thing. They call them snail feet because they're slow moving. This feels really fast. I've said it before in the reading today that I feel rushed. I feel this energy that it's like this. This is what it feels like to me. And it feels like it needs to slow down here. Um, some bearings need to be got here. Some love, some apologies, some conversations slow down. <laughs> and that's, I think that's the devil energy coming through you guys, but it feels very rushed. And the thing about snails is we call them snail feet. It's slower pace. Look, gentle gardener. There's this feeling of if you guys are going to have this new fertile 10 ground here, this renewal, and also one new beginnings, opportunity, potential, a garden in general, you guys, it needs to be taken care of. Tender, loving care is what I want to say to you, okay? This real feeling of snail feet, quite literally slowing down here. Okay, very, very much that too. Some rebalancing here. You guys mirror and trigger each other like <laughs> there's no tomorrow here. The love is very strong. The emotions are very strong. The passion is very strong. All of that's coming through you guys. This is a two. This is about your partnership here. It needs to be taken care of. Um, this emotional energy here being thrown out, creating more conflicts, more emotional streams, just dragging everything around, not letting things go, bringing this or that up, that's gonna need to change if you guys wanna get back together and start anew here. Very much a slowdown is a very strong message here with this card. I do wanna say to you, we do have the strength card, which can also be messages for you about loving yourself and respecting yourself. For those of you that need to hear that, getting that confidence. Um, but, um, or excuse me, in addition to that, for those of you that need to hear this particular message, it will not be for everyone, but being gentle on yourself as well, okay? Uh, truly, this feels very, um, like I said, it feels very rushed here. Take care of yourself, Libra, very, very much. Whatever it is you're going to decide to do, you don't need to carry this alone. If that is you. You put those wands down. You want to go back to that fortress. That can tell us the journey of love, guys. We see it here in the Ace of Wands. A fortress can be about the journey you're on, unfinished foundations. But we see everywhere here that there are some possibilities for you guys to have new beginnings. Renewal, quite literally. New fertile ground here, guys. Um, very, very much. But things need to be slowed down a bit and talked out. Um, some rebalancing here. Very, very strong message. Okay. We are going to look Whoops at channeled love messages. These are... Direct messages to you, Libra, whoops, and cross watchers. Forever is a long time, but I wouldn't mind spending it by your side. Okay, guys. Yeah, looks going right there with the Ten of Cups. Libra. Thank you, spirit guides. Angels, what does a person want to send through? Here you go. You are the sunshine of my life. Guys, look here. Very much the sun energy coming through here. We talked about it um, a lot, a lot, lot, uh, very much with the lover's card. The sun is very prominent for you guys, this outcome. This rainbow here, after a rain, what comes a rainbow? You know, you get through that. Sometimes the rain is quite beautiful. Sometimes it's very stormy. The storm, something you guys went through. The waters are rocky. There's still a ship here, possibly in one. We see with the King of Cups or looking back at that storm. Your person's hiding their face there. Guys, I hope you still love me. <sighs> yeah, look, this is also wanting to come by, excuse me, by the lover's card. Yeah, there, like I said here with the King of Cups, there is some guilt here, you guys, that's coming through here. 
do you want to say to your person? I feel like they need a little help here, guys. Um, interesting. I do feel like this Leo energy is coming through also of just, of not roaring. You know, they're being, hiding here, a little bit of fear. We see it also in the moon card. I really want you back in my life. Intention. That belongs right here with intention, you guys. They do. Um, but slow down, <laughs> you guys. Yes, I think of you constantly. That's not surprising. Okay. Last chance. Get another through here. Our love is eternal. Very much, you guys. This is a very deep spiritual connection. Twin Flame Soulmate Energy is here. Very different things, by the way, guys. Something to say. Song messages. These are channeled messages through song. Channeled song messages. Libra. And Libra Cross Watchers. Look, this just flew onto me and stuck onto my sweater. Can be your artist, your song comes down, a title, or simply that there's a message they're sending, or it could be you. The world was on fire, and no one could save me but you. It's strange what desire will make foolish people do. Wicked game, Chris Isaac. Look, I'm putting it here with the King of Cups. What the heck's going on? What did your, what happened here? We see the emotional energy here kind of being thrown away. We see your person hiding here, okay? Very much. Not even looking a little, little bit of air against their ego. Something going on here. We see the devil card, okay? Um, yeah, that almost should go over there, but that's where it wanted to be, guys. And that's going to resonate differently for everyone. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. But when I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. So I hung my head and I cried. You are my sunshine, Johnny Cash. Guys, this sunshine here, uh, they might have been saying that to some of you too. You're their joy. Guys, this sunshine connection here is very, very strong. This outcome, this joyous outcome. I'm really surprised we did not see the sun card, but uh, very much seeing that for you. What comes after the moon card? The sun card. I might go ahead and grab a crow tarot in just a minute. In games that never amount to more than they're meant, will play themselves out. Falling slowly, Glenn Hansard and Marquetta Urglova. Okay, you guys, yeah, there is this feeling here um, that there were some games. And I, we can see that really in the star card. I know that's it's like, what? How do you, well, we see it, the ripple effect. We see them kind of wasting things here. Um, this emotional energy is kind of being dumped, although it's still there. It's creating these new the streams here, which are carrying things now, are there, and they're almost going back into it again. It's like they're not being dealt with. Things are not being dealt with here. Okay, uh, where do we want to put this, you guys? I'm going to put it here for now, actually. What songs do you want to send through to your Libra? Yeah, that was strong. This as well. I've had enough of danger and people on the streets. I'm looking out for angels, just trying to find some peace. Now I think it's time that you let me know. So if you love me, say you love me. But if you don't, just let me go. One more try, George Michael. Guys, very goosebumpy here. Who is this, Libra? Is this you? You sending this to your person? Or is this your person, excuse me, sending this to you? Guys, <laughs> very a strong card for you to have come down here. Let's fade into the sun. Let your spirit fly where we are one, just for a little fun. Fly away, Lenny Kravitz. There's that sun energy again, you guys. Yeah, it could be for some of you, too, that your person might want to be coming in here. And, um, well, it's not even a might. We see this rushed energy, this sort of like whew, quick change here with the king of excuse me, the Knight of Swords. And we talked a lot about this needing to slow down a little bit here. So very interesting um, that that would come down because it does feel, look, there's that sun again. Let's fade into the sun here. Look, just the two of you guys, the lover's card. Now your person could be a Gemini that's coming through again. They're wanting me to say it, but it's also the energy. This is the Gemini card. This is the lover's card doesn't mean your person is a Gemini. They could be very much, but they're also, um, it's the energy here. A lot of love, you guys, a lot of emotion, a lot of connection here. 
gosh. A lot of things to be worked out though and slowed down very much. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages. What do you want to say to your Libra? Okay, Libra and Libra cro and people cross watching too, guys. I am afraid to contact you. Guys, we talked about the fear. Yeah, interesting. It's almost like getting over their fear. That's the Page of Wands energy coming through with that fear. But we did talk about the fear. Look, we talked about you, this channeling you as well, needing this love for yourself. For those of you that feel like that's been, you know, kind of messed with, I want to say, that's for lack of a better way to put it, but also your person afraid to talk here. And we see it also in the moon card. We see that it's almost like they're so afraid that they might just rush in. Look, and the horse is like, slow down. Look at that, that face. It's like, come on, just take it easy here. With a little bit of conflicting energy, you know, it's almost like they have to get over it here. Okay, wow. Guys, I really want to see you. Whoops, I'm gonna knock this light over, aren't I? Okay, these are yours and so are these. I'm sorry I ran. Yeah, we talked about this waking up energy. I do feel like that's also coming through. Don't ever change. But there's some, con there's, yeah, confusion or fear. There's, there's something here we see with them that they're sorry for with the Knight of Cups. You guys, this direction they might have taken, something that happened. I fear you have moved on. Yeah, look at that. You were so good to me. Guys, I still want you. What do you want to say to your Libra? I'm always with you. All right, this one is, these are flipped over here, guys. Don't give up on us and I want to kiss you. Okay, this belongs here over with the lover's card, I have to say. Yeah, guys, for some of you, there's a really, there is a really strong long distance energy coming through, but it doesn't mean that they're not imagining this, okay? I just need to make that very clear. I made so many mistakes, very much. See that here? Um, they're hiding, gosh. Part of that is, yeah, look at that. Just being kind of wishy-washy or flippant, kind of wasting this, look. Some emotions, the emotions here run very high, you guys. You are my other half. All right, Libra, this is your person acknowledging they know this twin flame soulmate connection, guys. It's gonna, I'm gonna put it here with your, whoops, with your twin flame soulmate, swans. Some of you may have noticed I changed my thumbnails to reflect that, your love readings. Hope you like that. It's gonna save a lot of time, guys, so I can give you more readings. Weekly readings are coming back. If it kills me. Can you feel my love? I sure can. Libra, can you feel that? It's really intense. Your person is, yeah, ashamed or something here, guys. This apology coming through. It's very goosebumpy and it's very emotional. It's so emotional. I really just um, kind of hold myself back here, but it makes me want to cry. This King of Cups over here, very much. Your love. So it's a very strong connection, and for a lot of you, it's been going on for a long time. It's really hard living without you. Okay, so you are my biggest wish. Look, guys, it came down. I thought it might. I'm almost knocking over the light here. <laughs> Look, I thought it might come down. There it is. Yeah, your person. You are their biggest wish, Libra, very much. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of start putting things where I can, guys. Um, my sweater here is, all right. I hope that you can see that okay. I really hate covering up cards, you know that. All right, they're wanting to send this through. I don't feel good enough for you. 
that's part of this King of Cups energy, you guys. Very strong coming through here. Gosh. Um, yeah, your person is just kind of knowing that they were throwing some stuff away here. Oh, gosh. It's very strong in this um, here, guys. The energy here is very, very strong. This, apo this Apologies. Okay, these are yours. You are never far from my mind. We know that. It was me, not you, okay? And I was scared. All right, you guys. Let me see if they want any more. Last chance. You want to send any more through? Yes, they do. One more. I received your telepathic messages. Okay, guys. Telepathic messages for sure going on between you. You know, if you're not, if you feel like you can't reach your person now, you can send them telepathic messages, you guys. You really, truly can. Will really help um, unblock your heart chakra. Okay, it's something you can do if you. If there's a reason, whatever is going on here for some of you that you can't communicate now. But boy, your person's wanting to rush in here. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to get some totems now. can be coming from your spirit guides, your angels, ancestors, or your person. Please take them as they resonate, guys, okay? And look, you have some numbers here. This can be coming through for anniversaries or birthdays. Six, four, eight, and three. Wow, your totems are very interesting. I can't wait to show you. The letters you have today are C, E, P and Y and look, okay, your person's sending I love you through very much so, you guys. I'm putting that with the lover's card. Look what else I'm going to put there. Gosh, you guys, really, I can't with this. All right, here's the leaf. Change. Uh, yeah, we see that with new beginnings, opportunities, potential, renewal. Very, very, very much here. We see it also with the Knight of Swords really quickly, too. Your person's really woken up here. They told us they woke up. We know that. We see it in the star card. They're wanting to just go pew. But take some caution because it is fast. I'm getting messages that it needs to slow down. Okay, I'm putting that here with you. Look, it's a starfish, you guys. Infinite possibilities. There's that one again. Also making something work that wasn't very, very strong. Something that happened here. This renewal coming through very strong. Putting that here also. All right, I'm going to save this for last. Serendipitous connection. Whoa, look, it's I am afraid to contact you and also on the strength card. Very interesting. Now, for those of you looking for new love, it's just definitely not everybody here. That can also be happening. This is like when you get the serendipity card. This is the four leaf clover, guys. This feeling of spirit putting love in your path. I also feel for a lot of you, many of you, this is your person. Obviously, this is your reading with them, but sometimes things come through. So for those of you that are wanting new love, I see that here as well. But gosh, you guys, serendipity, big time here. You guys met for a reason. And some of you have been kind of coming in and out of that here. Oh, interesting. I feel like I should have got the bicycle totem because I feel these cycles for a lot of you okay um it's really hard to know there's a couple here left look divinely guided connection guys very much this love we know that we see that very much with the two of cups the lover's card it's very very strong love here but I do see I say but <laughs> there are some decisions there's a decision here for somebody is that you Libra is that your person cross watcher it's here. That is the two. And that is also about the partnership within this um, connection here. I want to say we see the strength card. We see the moon card, this need to trust intuition, somebody carrying more here and in balance. So you make sure you are trusting your intuition, your gut instincts, your guardian angels, you guys right here, your guardian angels. Okay. Very important guys. Paying attention, too, to those serendipitous um, and things happening in your life. Synchronicity, you guys. Angels send messages in many ways. Um, you know, and telepathy as well. You, you know when somebody's calling who it is. Or they say, oh, I was just thinking of you. You send it to someone else. 
without realizing it, but a very strong connection here. Some of you might be kind of diving into the spiritual realm, I want to say, but that's not going to be for everyone. All right, guys, this is your last totem, and this is not a surprise. Look, you got the swans here, twin flame, soulmate, confirmation. We already know that. We knew it from a long time ago here. We also got the confirmation with you are my other half. Your person also knows, okay? If you're not following the twin flame journey or you don't believe in it or whatever, let it go, okay? Then it's not meant for you. It doesn't matter. It's a deep spiritual connection. The soulmate energy is also coming through. Very different, you guys. Um, very different. But that is, there's karmic soulmates, very important as well, okay? I need to tell you that. That is what the swans are and really what your readings are all about. This doesn't come down very often. Libra. Okay, you listen to those messages. Slow down a little here, guys. <laughs> okay, the love is here. The emotions are here, but we see there are some apologies that need to be made, some communication here. There's something going on here. It needs to really be rebalanced and, and you guys need to talk, but... You do have the Ten of Cups there. You have a lot of stuff going on here, guys. The Ace of Wands, the Star card. Jeez, the Moon, the Lover's card, the Two of Cups. Our love is eternal. Look, it wants to be here. Libra, that is your reading today. Thank you for joining me. I wish you well, love, abundance, all things good. Trust those instincts. You use your free will here, okay? Thank you for joining me, guys. I look forward to seeing you next time. I love you. Bye.